kwenye vita vikali vya kupambana na maisha lakini vita vyenyewe ni kupambana na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi ndio maana nipo na sepeto hii katika mkono wangu wa kushoto bingwa hiyo umeshikilia inaitwaje inaitwa jiko special okay yeah. naomba sana ujitambulishe kwa mtazamaji ambaye anakuona na vile vile kwa kusema jina lako na miaka yako okay. kwa jina langu naitwa Isaac Kabiro niko na miaka 32 kazi yangu hapa ni kutengeneza biochar biochar ni rice husk yenye unatano tuna convert rice husk inakuwa black hiyo ndio tunaitaga biochar this is one of the special jikos we call it kill for carbonating rice husk the rice husk it has become a menace in moya whereby many millers don't know where to uh, uh, do not know where to put to throw it it has it takes long to decompose so i and some fellow young men like me we decided to carbonate the rice husk to be to, to become biochar biochar inasaidia mchanga in lowering the ph of the soil unajua watu wengi wametumia chemicals in their in their land kwa mimea wanatumia chemicals so biochar inasaidiaga kulowa the acidity of the soil ile moto inakuwa hapa ndani inakuwa too high the temperatures temperature iko juu sana so unahitaji lazima ukue na speed iko na handle mrefu eh uko na speed yenye kwa handle mrefu yeah ndo at least unazuia ile joto kuchomeka mbali na biochar kuna kuna hii moshi tuna capture hii moshi tukishika hii moshi ina tuna, inakuwa liquidified hiyo liquid inaweza kuwa pesticide inaweza tumika kama folia pia mambo na diesel pia sisi kama vijana tuliona e husk to yongeze value adding value to the to the rice husk and then kuna ile ku save the environment kwa sababu unajua mazingira ilikuwa mbaya sana juu hii kutupa tupa kwa rice husk and then pia kuna job creation to the young people yeah vijana wengi wanapata kazi hapa yeah tunapeleka huko kwa safi organics wale wa transport pia wanapata yeah and then there is kuweka kitu kwa mfuko Najua lazima sisi kama vijana lazima tupate kitu kwa mfuko ya kutumotivate. Yeah. Kazi safi unaifanya lakini nataka sana kujua utaratibu ambao wewe ufuata ili kuhakikisha kwamba kila siku unatengeneza kile kitu unaitwa biochar. Namna tumeona katika kipindi cha kwanza. Kutengeneza biochar we need this jiko we call it kill and then tunahitaji majani yenye imekauka tunaweza tumia rice straws zenye zimekauka kabisa so tunaziekaga hapa ndani in this space tukishaeka hapo kwa hiyo space then tuna washa after kuwasha kuwasha then tuna mwagilia husk juu yake the challenge is, is that lazima ukae hapo karibu na hiyo ukiwasha lazima ukae ukiangalia after every 2 to 3 hours unakuja unaangalia ndio isitani kuwe ash kuangalia li for example pale juu unapataga ime, imeanza ku turn black blackish hiyo blackish ikianza ku turn hiyo blackish iki take long ikiwa hiyo blackish itaanza kukua ash itachomeka ikuwe ash so the best thing ile kitu tunafanyaga kuzuia hiyo kuzuia hiyo blackish hiyo blackish turn into white unaongeza husk pale juu kutumia hiyo speed hii iko chini unaongeza pale juu so utaenda so ukiwasha hiyo jiko yako you should be around you should be within tunapata biochar kutokana na uh, hizi haya maganda ya, ya, ya mchele pekee hapana pia unaweza tumia maganda ya kahawa unaweza tumia maganda ya makandamia yeah future plan yako kwa hii future plan ni kutengeneza e biochar in bulk mm-hmm. kwa sababu ukitengeneza e biochar itasaidia wakulima wengi so ninazataka wakulima mm-hmm. like for example the rice farmers ama watu wengine wa the wanyatengeneza wa, 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 wanalima mahindi mm-hmm. green grams any other type of crop hata kama ni kahawa mm-hmm. so they can come to me nazawauzia biochar yeah so, so. biochar unajua inatengeneza mchanga kazi safi bingwa
unafanya kazi nzuri siku jua kwamba unaweza geuza moshi iwe pesticides yeah. kazi safi kabisa yeah. umesema una miaka mingapi 32 bas shika hii inaendelea na kazi umesikiza kutoka kwape anasema kwamba hali kubwa zaidi ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunalinda mazingira yetu kwa kuhakikisha kwamba tunachoma yale maganda ya mchele kwako pia chukua nafasi hii uhakikishe kwamba tunalinda mazingira maana baadaye kuna kizazi kinakutegemea Emmanuel Terer Kenya's Gold